Hello everyone, in a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how to set up Visual Studio Code for C++ development. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple C++ application using SFML library. So first, let's download the SFML library. Then let's go to this first link. And let's click on download. Then let's click on this button, SFML 2.5.1. In this page, we have several versions of the binaries, but we need to download the binaries that were obtained using the same version of the compiler. In my case, I am using MinGW for 64 bit systems, so I have just to download this binary. So let's click on download. Then we need to download this zip file. In my case, I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download. So this is the zip file of SFML. I need just to extract it. Now I will move this folder to my documents. Now let's create a new C++ project using Visual Studio Code. So I will call it first SFML project. Now let's create a new C++ file. And let's complete this file using an example that we can find on the website of SFML. So let's click on Learn, then Tutorials, and here let's click on SFML and Linux. Now let's scroll down, and let's copy this example. Now let's save this file, and here we have this error, because IntelliSense did not find this include. So to fix this, I have just to click on Quick Fix, then Edit Include Path Setting. So this folder has been created, and it contains this file. I can open this file like this, or also I can open this file using this link. So this is the file that we obtained. Now let's close this page, and here we need to provide the path of the include folder of SFML. So let's go to the folder that contains the SFML library. It is on documents into a folder called libraries and this is the SFML folder. So let's open the include folder and let's copy this path. Now let's add it just here. So let's add a comma then double quotes and let's paste the path. Of course, I need to add a second slash to fix the errors. Now let's save this file and let's close it. And here we can see that the error disappeared. Now to compile this source file, I have just to go back to the documentation website and to copy this command. And let's open a new terminal and let's paste the command. Of course, we need to correct this path. So I need just to copy this path. And let's paste it just here. In my case, I don't have spaces in this path, so I don't need to add the double quotes. But if there are spaces in this case, I need to add double quotes. So let's add the double quotes. And let's hit enter. Now the file has been compiled correctly and this is the output. Now let's go back to the documentation website. And let's copy this command. Let's paste it here. So this is the name of the application that will be created. I want to modify it. I will call my application main. Also, I need to modify this path. 
So let's go to the folder that contains SFML. Let's open the lib folder and let's copy this path. Also, it is possible to add this path between codes in case we have spaces. And let's hit enter. And here we obtain this executable file. So let's run it. And here I have this error. This is because I did not add the DLL files to the folder that contains my executable file. So let's fix this. So this is the folder that contains the DLLs. I have just to copy all of these DLLs and to put them into the folder that contains my executable file. Now let's execute the application again. And we obtain this window. Now I will show you how to build this application statically, so we don't need these DLL files. So let's close this window and let's go to the navigator. Now let's click on learn, then tutorials, and then SFML and Visual Studio. In this page we need to scroll down. And here we can see that if we want to build the application statically, we need to use the static SFML libraries, which have the minus s suffix. Also, we need to define SFML static. And finally, we need to add these dependencies. So let's do this. So to compile the source code, I need to use this command and I need to add minus d SFML static. Now let's hit enter. And to link the object file, I need to use this previous command, but I need to add minus s suffix. Also, I need to add the other dependencies. Now let's hit enter. And the application has been created. Now let's go to the folder that contains our application and let's remove all of these DLL files. Now let's run this application. So we obtain this window and we don't have any error. It is possible that when we start this application, a terminal will be opened. To hide the terminal, it is necessary to add a new lib. So let's close this window and let's go to the documentation website. So let's scroll down. And here, to hide the terminal, we need just to add this Now let's hit enter and the application has been built again. Now to build this application easily, I will create a simple make file. And then I will create the default rule that I will call all. This rule depends on other rules called compile and link. Now let's define the compile rule. This rule will just compile the source code. Now let's create the link rule. And this rule will just link the object file. Now let's create the clean rule. So this rule will just delete the executable file and the object file. Now let's save this make file. Let's call make clean. And we can see that the executable file and the object file have been deleted. Now let's call make. And here we obtain this executable file. So let's go to the folder that contains this file. And let's run this application. So this is the obtained window. Now I will show you how to use the examples that are available with the SFML library. So let's close this window and let's go to the folder that contains SFML. 
So here we have several examples. So let's open this example. Let's open the source code. Let's copy this source code. And let's paste it just here. Now let's save this file and let's run make. Now let's open the folder that contains this executable file. And let's run this application. And this is the obtained window. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.